on. What, what is at the other end of this? Shut up. No, I don't. I feel like this island won't be picked up. Oh, it's just a... Hold on. This is really weird to control. There we go. No, oh, whatever. I think it's just a... Yeah, I think it's just another way around. Yeah, okay. Weird, then. Uh, I don't think this planet will be picked up. Because I... All of the, uh... All the places with people on them are fairly safe. Let's go up here, see what happens. So the islands themselves get thrown up into the air. <sighs> this planet really does suck. Oh, it's just... It's just a way to hang out with this thing. Would you look at that? Hey, you're not gonna launch us. You're not gonna launch this planet into the air, are you? It's trying to go overhead. Whoa. No, don't take my ship! Well, this one's getting lifted. I see what's happening now. You're pretty cool, you know that, buddy? That's actually really cool. But he's just chilling. Where's my ship? We go partially underwater. And then we rise back up to the top. Wow. That is what happens, huh? Oh. My ship's still fine. Hey, buddy. You know what? No, oh, whatever. Yeah, this sucks. Well, I guess if Gabbro's not that worried about it, I guess I shouldn't be as... Now that I know what's happening, it's much less startling. If it were to happen to me again. <sighs> okay, let's, let's go. Wow, I do just have... I can't just press tab to look at the map, huh? Okay, well. Why did nobody tell me I had this? I guess let's go and try and find one of those other eyes. I think we found all that we can here. Urgh. Just try and avoid all of those that we can for now. And just start zooming. That's a big one. Is it, all right, is this what I think it is? I think this is just a thing. I, I've never said this out loud to y'all, but oh, oh. This is gonna get launched. Into the sky. I think this is just a thing that keeps your ship from. It keeps your ship grounded, I think, I feel. Yeah, because it's, it's pushing slightly down, so that might be. must be what this is. What island is this? It's, a, it's another gravity cannon place. And there's some things to. 
Stand on in case we do get launched. Is that? No, that's not the sound of the loop restarting. Ooh. That's, no, that's not the loop restart. I think that's just ambient music, because if that were, like, the uh, end of the loop music, then I couldn't be able to stop time by reading. Uh, this is it. We finished building the final orbital probe cannon module and are ready to set it into orbit around Giant's Deep for assembly. Our next step will be to send Privet up to the orbital probe cannon and install the probe tracking system. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tireless work I had give for your tireless work. I had given up hope, but I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where many other attempts have not. Are you doing gelat what? Are you going gelatinous on us, love? I'm delighted by your words, but they're atypical for you. If I'm ever half as gooey as Mallow and Evans uh, behave together, Des, you may launch me from the orbital pro cannon. If I know my brother, Evans, at his dose, you'll want to launch the probe with as much power as possible. I'm worried the cannon would break under the strain. It will. Well, eventually. I propose we give Evans and Mallow a slightly lower maximum power setting than the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. Should plug updated. That's what it looks like. And these walls I can walk on. <laughs> but I don't want to walk on them yet. I want to observe. Where do I even go? Would standing on these stop me from, like, floating around? Ooh, there's stuff over there. And there's stuff over there. I assume standing on those walls would, like, act similarly to standing on these. Is that the loop restarting? Because it's not close to time for it. And also, like, time stops when I'm talking to people, which is what I've been doing mostly this episode. Let's... So, like, what's the catch with this place, though? So, like, do these turn off? Like, when I go into space? Because then... No, I feel like these would, like, continue to, like, let me stick to the wall. Oops. Well, one's about to go overhead, so let's... Let's let this one go. We'll also test these out further. Are we getting launched? Yeah, we are. Yeah, these do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these do just hold us. And we're coming down, and where's my ship? Still right there. Brace! Oh. <sighs> my ship is. Still there. Good to know that that's what those do. Also, is that the massive one? Oh, it's still right there. We're getting launched again. That sounds so similar to like the war the game ending world game ending music. Let's go explore over there, over there like manually. Ooh, there is a... Ooh, there is a lot over there. Same for that side. Maybe there's not that much over here. Not 
that I can see. Uh. All right, let's go over there. I really don't want to be caught on this thing while I'm while we get launched. You couldn't have like made it like a straight line, you guys. Oh look, there's a thing to keep me grounded. Yeah. Oh, Alright, there's a lot less to explore than I thought. I was just looking. Anyway. Well, I have something to don't you yeah, this is it! This is this is what we saw. Like I was at the other place right here and I remember seeing this and then like there was water and it like came above. But that's because the ship was or this this place was launched into the sky and then it came crashing down. Right. Interesting. Uh what? 12 minutes, 25 seconds ago, long-range probe successfully launched from the orbital probe cannon. That's what was launched, and also that's how long we've been in the loop for. So, it, they are launching a long-range probe. Fascinating. But who? Who launched it? Cassava. I have bad news, Evan Evans. Nero says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. The proposed power source? Why is it raining on my mask? I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Cassava. I wish I were, my friend, but no. They aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on indefinite hiatus. No, it ain't. I just watched it. Tell Privet and Mal that they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. Where's that? An update. Mal and I will join you and Daz. Privet left to visit her brother. She fears a DIA may feel responsible. Alright, so the last thing I want to happen is that I, like, put this thing down there. And then we get, like, launched. All right, is that... No, that's not... It's like, basically, like, piano music to me means that... Oh. Just get with the huge like spike. Or, like, stuttering. Rather. Uh, because piano music to me means that the loop is ending. All right, let's just see where this puts me. On to the... I see. Oh, onto the cannon. Onto the. So that puts me onto the orbital probe cannon. Right. I thought it would take us back to uh, wherever we were. Oh man, why are we? He's like, that's even affecting like me. Like that's not just like the. Uh, ooh. I'll look at that after I explain. Because uh, that lag is hitting myself, not like my usual troubles that I have with recording software. Uh, right, all right. This picture's the same as that one. So I guess this is like their num. This was also the same picture that was on, uh, this is the same pictograph that was on uh, an, on the last planet we were at as a numbering. So I guess this is like their numbering system. Like this means one, this is two, and this is three. Which makes sense because there's one thing, and then there's two things, and then there's three things. We're getting launched again. I think we are. I got a better view of getting launched now. What are you 
waiting for. There we go. Ship still there? Yeah, it is. This is... Well, there's the sun getting angrier. Yep, so this is... Really cool. Also, I need oxygen. Where's oxygen on this place? And then I'm, like, standing right there, and then I... Whoa, what's happening? This place, like, fills with water? I say, standing right there. There we go. Well, now what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand here for a little bit longer, so I can make sure that I'm not gonna get launched again. I'm gonna make my way over it. Yeah, I realize. I'm gonna go ahead over there. I think we're fine. I'm gonna make my way over there. And get some oxygen. I just realized those skeletons are still standing there. Or lying there. Which means, first off, that the water on this place doesn't have that much resistance, because those things would have been like, as soon as we like plunged beneath the water, those would have been just like flung off the side. But I think that means that I can like still stand on these. And not be affected. Yep, yeah, alright. Just plotting my course. Make sure that there's no gaps. This is so cool, but also horrifying. Is that the world ending or is that just music? Who's playing piano? Gabbro? Better not be you. Ooh, oh, and this is right, and this will take us to Brittle Hollow. Right, I, well, I don't know why I never thought of. I don't know why I never thought of the fact that, uh, different keys, for lack of a better term, could be uh, used to take us to different places. I'm just going to try it anyway, even though I'm pretty sure I know it's where it's going to take me. Just make sure once again that I'm not going to be destroyed. Nope. Put that away. Yeah, this takes us to where that is. Take me away. Say the same thing. Uh, right, right. One is saying beneath the curtain current. So it's just like their way of. Hold on, is time still stopping? It is. We're safe. Ish. Uh, should have seen it was a puzzle and component thing straight partially below the current. Straight to the core. I'm gonna have to do that. Try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts. Alright, so is this just like their way of like long range communication? Whoa! Also, for some reason, whenever I get those. Uh, they're, not, they're not lag spikes. This isn't a, like an online thing. It's stuttering. Those spikes of stuttering. I, uh... My DPS on my mouse also goes, goes insanely high. I, I hope you can, like, see that in the recording. If not, that's weird. If you can, that's really bizarre. I think we've gotten everything we can from this place. Unless I want to, like, wait until we're launched. And then, like, crawl underneath there to see if there's anything. Is that the actual ending game? An ending game? What? Well, there's something over here I haven't seen. Ugh, crazy. Yep. Is there anything 
over there. That's what I want to do. Observe. I didn't mean to do that post. Looks like we're gonna get launched again. I know what to do. Is there anything beneath the surface? Oh yeah, we are getting launched again. Yeah, there's nothing down there. All right, do your worst. Oh, it looks like your worst is gonna be a lot. I'm safe where I am. This is actually really neat. This is such like a cool idea for a... For a thing. I don't know... Like, originally I thought... Like, for some reason things were like cannons upwards for when... All of the atmosphere disappeared, quotation marks. That's the end. That's the end. I don't. That's this is the end of the loop right here. <laughs> Fascinating. Well, I'll definitely have some stuff to read about. I pick this thing up and I start skipping it across the water like a flat stone. I do like about this place that it's not time limited by anything that I can tell. Well, yeah, like the place isn't crumbling beneath my feet. I've said this before, but, but you know, just to make sure that it's understood. I'm gonna go wait in my ship. Jumbo marshmallows, my new. Wait. Do we have a canning place on Timber Hearth? Interesting. Multiple canning places. Where do we make all this stuff? Is that a spork? Is that like a spork multi tool thing? Interesting. Well, that's. Three islands explored already. This island, or this planet, doesn't really have that much to explore, I feel. Like, most of it's just water. Like, what do I have to do after this? I have to get inside the statue place. I have to explore the fourth island. Ugh. And then I have to explore that thing. And then I have to explore the core. Like, what else is there? Let's go read what we've discovered about this place. Gabbro's Island. Ocean Dips. Construction Yard. Oh, that was the construction yard. Well, <laughs> found it. Gabbro just landed in a hammock. In my statue, the statue's eyes started to glow. Remembers dying. They saw their memories flash before their eyes. Gabriel and I seem to be the only ones aware that we're in a time loop. I always knew I spared a special bond with Gabriel. The ocean depths. There's a strong current beneath the surface of the ocean that prevents anything from seeing below it. Yep. Saw something sink beneath the underwater current, which they previously thought was impossible. Yep. I'll have to... I'll have to go do that. For some reason, they might put the orbital probe cannon on indefinite hiatus because their power source. For some reason, we know a lot about the power source. But but for what reason was the was the power source not whatever used? 
I finished building the final module of the orbital program and it to orbit around Giant Steep. Right. I see a lot less than I thought I would have discovered. What's one of the other things I have to explore? There's like one island that I like seen floating around a lot that I have to go and explore. Alright, back at it. Where is it? There you is. I'm not going to you yet. It would be easy to go to you right- it would have been so easy to go to it right then. But I don't want to- I don't want to, like, stop exploring Giants Deep. You know what I mean? I'll have, like, one long session dedicated to the Quantum Moon, I feel would be best. Also, can I even land on that? Hello, something just got launched. Look, there's a place to land. Hold on. Let's get a better look at it from outside. Oh, that's a piece of Bramble Hearth. Take this option while I have it. <laughs> good at this. Let's... Or should I... Hold on. I'm, oh, whatever. I'll just land it right here. Oh, actually, no. Here. Perfect. Like a glove. How fortuitous for us. Ha. I mean, you could also have those things. I do not race quickly enough to get up there. So I guess we're going to fight this way. I was, I was constantly thinking of like, how am I going to get inside this ship? Or get inside this place? I mean, what, I'm going to have to like wait underneath the waves? Or wait like on the surface as it like comes back down? How am I going to do that? Or I can just, you know, do what I just did. There we go. Here's a place to, uh, not die. Yo, bro. From Phlox. Yero, would you kindly stop, step back so Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing, the statue would choose whoever is in closest proximity. Uh-huh. See how its eyes have opened? Uh-huh. That tells us that that statue is paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in the star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. I feel like I'm learning endgame stuff here. I feel like this is like... This is endgame stuff. So the Ash Twin Project... is what's doing this. Part of this, I feel. That is huge to learn. This is extraordinary sculpting work, Phlox. He has outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test the memory source prototype. Each statue will send a single Nomai's memories to his or her own storage unit within Ash Twin. Well, now, it's only, it's only, it's only, the only step is to get inside Ash Twin, or the next step, rather. Or one of the next steps is to get inside Ash Twin. 
which always was a step, but now it's even more important. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask. Each statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those stored memories back to the corresponding Nomai. Hold on. What? Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask. The statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those stored memories back to the... Weird. That's the thing that I've been seeing when I die. So basically... Wait, so it sends memories back to the Namai who... Explain more, fool. Yeah, shut up. I'm, I'm literally so safe in here. Like, that is huge knowledge. Well, now the next question. Why? Why are they doing this? Ash Twin Projection Stone. And there's some stuff to read up there. I'll have to, like, use the ship to get up there. I've installed the mask inside the Ash Twin Project. Flox. What? I've, <clears throat> I've installed the mask inside the Ash Twin Project, Flox. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. So it has succeeded. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. So the st that means that the statue that f that that Gabro uh, linked with, and the statue in the uh, museum, were unlinked before they uh, got there. So did all of the all of the Namai die before they were able to pair, or? I did. Why are all the Namai dead also? Because it seems like a, like a quick thing that happens like because like all of them are like spread out. They're not like all like piled into like a room or whatever. So I guess it wasn't like a slaughter. Interesting. They will. Why is that? Hold on. What is it? Uh, ideally, they only need to activate once the project succeeds, as a safety measure. However, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. Or equipment failure. Wait, well, why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. Hold on. What if we are not in a time loop, quotation marks, but our current memories are constantly just being sent back in time to when the first loop started or something? So it's not us going back in time, it's only our memories going back in time. Which makes sense, I feel? Because that's basically what this is saying. <laughs> what a profoundly horrific fate that would be. <laughs> Where's this going to take us? In the mask room? Yup! This is what this room is! One, two, three are active, though. Three! I assume that's what all those glowing, glowing eye things mean. Is that they're... active! <laughs> so... There's three people stuck in a time loop, then. Me, Gabro, and who?
That's all I know for now. You couldn't have, like, found any, like, better way of doing this. Like, why like the constantly spinning-ness? What is that? Alright, so there's like a planet spinning around that place also. I feel like I've learned... Like, I came to this place, like, with, like, the least amount of expectations for what I was going to be, like, learning. Like, oh, you know, it's, like, it's pretty, like, small planet. You know, there's only, like, four places. <laughs> only four things here to, you know, discover. Meanwhile, I, like, basically ended up learning the point of this place. Or the point of the masks. What? Whatever. You know what I mean. I'm going to go fly up there. See what that word is saying. I can make it. I can. Uh, also, there's a twister. I hate this place. Well, that's good. I'm just gonna sit here while this place gets launched. Actually, wait, hold up. Yeah, this place is getting very broken. And you know, if I weren't in this thing right now, I'd probably be dead. I could escape right now if I wanted to, but I... I'm gonna keep exploring. Ah, pretty. Don't fill my ship up with water, please. Oh. Alright. Uh, this is like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to like get inside this place. My mask was off. It says like damage to the exterior. Where's what's broken? Oh, what does it matter? Well, uh. that it? Right, I just need to like fly. No, that's not right now, right there. Oh, well, now how? Do I have to get up there while, like, everything's in freefall? Alright, I'm getting a little bit too, uh... Yeah, I don't think I can actually, like, land up here. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna permanently have my... Oh, man, this is... Interesting. Get me, just get me to land in there weirdly. So hold on. I can make, I can do this. Ooh. <laughs> ah. Hold on, am I an idiot? Ugh. Just work your ship right. Here, you know it's really good enough. No, it's falling. I can work with that. I'm just gonna climb onto the ship and see if I can like boost my way over there. All right, but also what's broken. Also, I don't really know what's broken on here. There you go, I'm much better landed. What's broken on you? What are you complaining about? I can't be able to, I won't even be able to climb on top of this thing. I might have to like wait until this thing like gets launched up there and not have to fly into that thing. I can do that, I don't take time and I don't have time. Well, I do, but I don't want to have time, I'm impatient. I 
I can only fly that high as well. I just like grab onto that thing and just, you know, start clambering.